it's Christy from Christy's Corner. I do all things Disney, Harry Potter, and makeup. Today we are doing a makeup video. Happy Pride Month. I'm an ally, and I decided to do a sort of like rainbow colored theme, except for I also want to in incorporate the uh, bisexual flag theme of this makeup look. So it's a zombie look. If you know me, you know I do lots of zombie makeup looks. It's one of my favorite things to do. So this one's kind of like a skeletal zombie-ish look because I like the skeletal pieces of it and I like the like zombie pieces of it. I don't know. I just like to do makeup, guys, and I'm here for makeup. But I wanted to represent because I am an ally and I wanted to include the bisexual flag, um, but I also wanted to include the uh, pride pla flag in general. So and I wanted to incorporate those colors into this look. I feel like I did a pretty good representation. Um, I am definitely open to your suggestions on how better to do this. Uh, but in general, it's fun to do these makeup looks. I like to have some sort of theming behind them and I really like to have a cause behind them when I do them. So anytime I can do a look that identifies with some sort of cause, I am very happy to do so. And I feel like I did a pretty decent job with this one. I, I would like your all's input, of course. And uh, be polite in the comments. Don't spread hate. I'm not here for hate. I'm here for love. Love all. Love one. Love everybody. Um, but anyway, let's get started with the makeup look. So I obviously moisturize my face. That's what I do the first thing I do. And like my chest area because I paint on my chest too. And uh, this time I actually used primer. Well, I use primer too, but I used a uh, milk brand primer, like the foamy stuff. I don't know. I, I got hooked to it uh, or I got suckered into buying it off of TikTok because <laughs> they're all those ads. So I got the milk foamy primer. Um, I've been using that for about a week now just in my general makeup and stuff. It's decent. I like it. It's not, it, it's not a filterless or flawless or however you call it. The ones that kind of make your skin with, to where you can't see pores. So the primer doesn't get seep in and like fill in your pores. It's just kind of almost like a moisturizer sort of. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's what I started off with, of course. And then I also kind of like, uh, used the Elmer's glue stick to kind of push down my lashes because I was coloring in, I was making myself brows and I was like coloring that in. I didn't go overboard with trying to get my brows down because it was going to kind of be hidden anyway. Uh, but I did use the Elmer's glue stick to do that. And then I took my Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner and kind of drew out everything I wanted drawn out. Um, anytime I do a multicolor scheme look, and I don't mean like, you know, this part of my face is this color, this part of my face is this color. I'm talking about when I have to blend into transition colors. Like I have another one where I did like dark purple to white, and I used like dark purple, light purple, light gray, and then white. Anytime I do transition shades like that and I'm filtering in, kind of like an ombre look, like the purple one was. Um, and I have to blend colors, it takes me a whole lot longer. So theoretically, this look only took me an hour and a half, but um, with all the stops that I did to record some videos, and it, I was probably doing this look for like five hours, four or five hours, no joke. Anyway, um, I, like I said, I traced out with my Too Faced Better Than Sex. I like to use Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner to do out these drawings because it doesn't smudge. And, um, you know, most of the time it gets a little covered up, like the lines on purpose, but I, I don't want smudginess. And I, when I'm painting my face, I don't want the black to blend in with all the other colors, like get all muddy, if you will. Uh, so that's why I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I know uh, I never really explained that before to you guys, I don't think. Well, I have on my live streams. Uh, so if you guys know this channel, you know I do live streams from time to time. I used to do them all the time, but I don't really have the time to do that anymore. So I do them from time to time. Um, now, in terms of uh, where I went from there, I actually started with the shading um, in the colors. And I wanted it to kind of go at an 
angle rather than just straight down. So it's very angled. I started with like a dark um, purple, like up in the corner, of my the I think it was the left corner of my temple, and kind of just went down to navy blue, and then to like a lighter blue, and then to a lighter blue, and then to pink. And uh, actually, I started with navy blue, and I went to purple because normally I would go to purple from purple to blue, but I wanted to get the purple in there. Uh, because of the bisexual flag. I wanted to make sure I had like a light purple, the light blue and the white. So I did start with dark blue, excuse me, correction. And then just kind of like went down from there, um, diagonal across my face and then transitioned into um, orange, yellow, lime green, and then like a darker green and uh, I think the orange was actually at the base and went to the base of the pink or went to red and uh, orange and red. Yeah. I went from pink to yellow. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't even think right now to yellow, to green, to uh, orange and then red. So, you know, I did it at the angle because of all the different colors and I was trying to really incorporate all these colors and you know, it took a lot of thought process to really get this. And even when I did like the cutout pieces, like the uh, skull pieces across my chest and then the brains and then the mouth pieces where the teeth show, I was really trying to like figure out what to do. And that's where I went the light blue that you see in the bisexual flag. I thought that was really cool. I actually really loved how this look turned out. Um, it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Uh, I didn't tell you what uh, like the brands I use. Wow, I'm just so scattered brain today. So um, for these colors, I used uh, all Mirhan makeup uh, with the exception of the dark blue. The dark blue is actually Graftaline. Um, but yeah, every other color was Mirhan cream foundation um, for everything all, all the way down. Um, every single color you see, like the shadings, every single color. I have like a endless supply of Mirhan. No, I don't have an endless supply, but I have a lot of Mirhan makeup, including the details I did later. Um, you know, I have Graftobine in black, but I also have Mirhan in black. So I really wanted to stick to the Mirhan theme as much as possible. So um, after all the shading was done, the white bone structure was also Mirhan. Um, and everything like that. And I went back in and drew on, uh, like I made the black areas, like where I had drew the two, the, with the two face better than sex, I went in with a cream Mirhan foundation and really um, detailed out everything. And I also used the Mirhan cream. And then I also went back in and did some more shading and uh, like blending and stuff like that. Everything I used makeup wise was Mirhan, uh, which is not usual for me. I usually mix it up and uh, really kind of it, grab different brands and kind of go with the flow here. But I kind of wanted to stick to one brand with the exception of that navy blue, which you don't see <laughs> even when I get the wig on, like it's hidden. So it didn't even matter. Um, but the royal blue is Mirhan. But yeah, I just everything. All the details, every single bit you see is Mirahan makeup, which like I was very surprised and happy about it because using all of one brand is a fantastic thing to do, uh, especially if you really like the products. Anyway, um, once I got all of that done, I did some eyeliner, some mascara and some lashes. The eyeliner, I think was my NYX, uh, mascara was my NYX, um, lashes, I think they're the Kiss brand, I don't even remember, and then the contacts, I don't remember where they came from, but the wig came from Timu, uh, I get a lot of my wigs there, they're, they're really good wigs um, for the price. But anyway, that is the completion of this look. I will say the setting powder was not Mirhan, it was Anastasia Beverly Hills. I used so I did it in a couple of different layers. I did like once I got all the colors um, of the rainbow, like the flags in there, I did some setting powder. 
and then um, I did the, all the white areas and then I did some setting powder and then I did the lighter blue areas and I did some setting powder. So I set multiple times so it wouldn't smear. And it's a good idea to do that because I don't always set and then sometimes things get all kind of meshed in together and it looks funny. Uh, I actually have another look that I just, I was like, oh, this will be quick. I don't want to do any setting powder. Uh, I should have. Anyway, I really do love how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Sorry, I rambled a little bit on this one. I guess I'm in a rambling mood. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and for everyone that celebrates Pride. I hope you guys are having a prideful month and making sure you're supporting everybody and that your allies are supporting you. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Bye. Thank you.